So now let's see how we can use the drop shadow visual effect inside of Camtasia. So to use the drop shadow visual effect, I'm just going to go around onto annotations and bring in an annotation right here. So what we can do to add in a drop shadow to it is to go into visual effects. And then over here, you can see drop shadow is an effect. So simply click and drag the drop shadow right here. And I can see that the drop shadow is here. Of course, I can use the drop shadow over here as well. What you can do with these effects is choose the range still uh, what, how, what range you want to add in the drop shadow as well. Just like this. I'm just going to leave it off into full right now. So what you can do right here is you got options. You can set the offset of the shadow right here. You can set the opacity of the shadow as well, even the color. So you want something like a bluish shadow, you can go over here and select that out just like that. You can also change out the opacity, the blur level of the shadow. You can really make it sharp or make it blur right here. And then you can also add an A's in and A's out to add in an animation of the softness of the shadow over here, just like that, as you can see. So it only appears after 1.9 seconds, just like this. You can change around the angle by choosing these options right here. As you can see, keep it on the center itself or use this wheel over here on the side for a more precise option. So let's just go over here, change the offset right here, use the wheel, and you can see that you can manually control out the level, the angle of the shadow as well. So it's not just annotations that you can add in shadows to, but video clips as well. So let me just resize this out right here and add in a drop shadow over there as well. You don't see any drop shadow because the background is black, but if I were to change the uh, drop shadow to white, just like this, you can see that I can change the offset and I got a sort of a white shadow right there. I can change out the blur and utilize all of the settings of the drop shadow, which we just looked at it now, which we just looked at a while ago while working on with this annotation. So that is how you can work with drop shadow effect inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.